Okay, um, Assalamualaikum dan selamat pagi semua Pertama uh, kali saya mengucapkan terima kasih kepada semua hadirin yang sudi hadir ke sesi uh, seminar berkala Bagi seminar berkala, kadang-kadang kita, kita uh, anjurkan seminar-seminar begini Prof Kalau ada apa tu, uh, pelawat-pelawat yang kebetulan berada di UMS, Sabah atau Nadi Mesir um, Hari ini kita bersungguh bertuah kerana kita ada uh, Profesor Uh, Dr. Wahsan Ahmad uh, yang merupakan sahabat lama ITDC, UBTP Saya dulu uh, sabbatical masa tu UMS baru buka Masa ni yang Dr. Pak masa tu oh, Masa tu saya Dr. Pak lagi Saya macam lagi Saya macam lagi, lagi. <laughs> um, Beliau uh, merupakan uh, Profesor Kehormat sekarang uh, di USM iaitu di Sekolah Biological as uh, apa tu uh, school of biological eh uh, school of biological science biological science uh, dan nak melihat kepada <coughs> apa ni um, latar belakang akademik uh, profesor uh, beliau mendapat diploma dalam uh, pertanian dari Universiti Pertanian Malaysia uh, tahun tak ada sini tahun 74 74 um, uh, kemudian uh, beliau melanjutkan pelajaran ke University of California Davis Amerika Syarikat untuk Uh, ijazah pertama, pertama beliau Kemudian uh, berlanjutkan terus ke uh, peringkat Sarjana di Universiti of Idaho Juga di Amerika Syarikat sebelum pulang ke Universiti Melayu untuk uh, pengajian peringkat uh, Dr. Falsafah beliau um, Beliau bukan seorang ahli antropologi uh, dan beliau berminat dalam bidang uh, secara umumnya biologi, ekologi dan uh, pengawalan se- uh, sempur pula Amun. Um, nyamuk, nyamuk, eh. nyamuk, um, entomologi, agricultural entomologi, urban entomologi uh, seperti uh, anak-anak, semut dan juga um, apa tu, lipas dan beliau juga berminat dalam bidang uh, entomologi forensik. Um, tak pun melingkar ke masa lagi, uh, Prof akan membentangkan tajuk uh, ceramah beliau hari ini yang bertajuk Bun Owls or Punggung Jelapang. Prof. Thank you, Dr. Selamat pagi dan selamat pagi. I'm very glad to come to UMS because uh, when I came to UMS long, long time ago, I spent three months with Dr. Mariati. UMS was very small, only down the hill. Ini semua belum buka lagi. Cuma ada sign and technology saja. And uh, that time, I go to Tabin to do my research on aquatic insect. Okay, today I'm retired, but I still work a little bit here and there. I have the university, I have an office university, I have to advise to them, make friends with the young lecturer, you know, uh, just to keep my life a bit younger than the, than the older one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is my our new, because uh, Dr. Hasper, uh, he is the bird. He is an entomologist plus a better breakfast expert. So we got involved with this. We don't call it burung hantu because China kita soy from hantu no good. We don't call it burung hantu. We call it burung delapan, punggung delapan, mana boleh. No? So siapa yang belum tahu burung ni? Inilah the bird they are working, we are working with. Ban owl kalau dalam bahasa Inggeris tuerta. Kan kita tak nak melulu cerita apa, kan cerita Jabanika, Jabanika. So you do you can Google, find out. Uh, this bird, uh, we we try to utilize it so that it can help us to control rat. Naturally they are there, eh? Tapi kan kita try to. Uh, this is a. Uh, Okay, this is the ban all. So we we had like we had some like outreach program. We panggil tunjuk kat sekolah, tunjuk kat public. You know, it's a good bird, good bird. Okay, betul betul. Okay, this is the thing. Then uh, this is we form a group. In USM we form a group. We call it Bob Ban Our Research Group. So the those are the Uh, the old man, me, uh, is a young man, Dr. Hasbro, he's going to breakfast. 
Dr. Intan is a monocular resistant. Dr. Gauss is a, a molecular biologist. DNA and DNA punya gang, PCR eh? Jadi saya memang ketinggalan lah DNA, DNA ni eh? And then Dr. Hamdan, our veterinarian plus entomologist And then we we have appellation with outside uh, Like public sector from UPM, Dr. Hafizi Bagan Serai, Department of Agriculture We got our stock They call it because in, in, in Malay, in Sebenanjung banyak dia duduk di kita pasang nanti nest box dalam uh, rice rice field area. From there we harvest our stock. Tapi nanti walaupun kita ada commission, walaupun tak tangkap itu, but nanti tengok dia punya fine. Kalau sebenarnya um seratus ribu. If you keep this bird without without permit, seratus ribu. In Indonesia you can sell it on the roadside. I think illegal, tapi dia jual juga lah. Saya tengok dia jual dekat roadside, tapi sini tak boleh. Eh? Kalau kita tanya depan ni, you all tanya orang perintah lah Dia tahu undang-undang macam mana, atak, atak semua dia orang tahu lah So we have these people from And then from oh, the Batam Tenant and then we have Ferda Ferda ni banyak kita punya trial site And they also collaborate with us Sebab Ferda Plantation banyak ladang sawit Ladang sawit is the most yang benefit from this And then of course uh, the oil pump, uh, Ferda And then uh, we have a uh, private group like Karen Jubri. This one a group in Sultan Perak ni gang lah. Saya berkonsultan ni semua my classmates. So that that's important to young people linkage. You must have networking. So the networking say, eh, hey, Abu, you have. Kita tanya dia. Ding ah, we have. You have plot lah to try our new thing. Okay, okay. I ask the Sultan Perak my brother in law. Kira Jubri somewhere in the south. So. They give us mission. That's why young people must have networking. Very important. Get friend with the old people. They have a lot of friends. You know? Okay, yeah. And then we have private company. Eco. JS Eco ni because the person is Mr. Tio. Mr. Tio ni uh, journalist. He wrote Subang Jaya punya newspaper. So, both of us minat burung. Tadi kita sudah nyam And then dia kata, hey, can you try our, uh, uh, this project in urban? Nanti I tell you what we did We did plantation, we did First we have to do conservation That is the first important thing Because this is a totally protected species in Semenanjung But in Sabah, I don't know the rule, you ask this But in Tan Sabah, maybe yes or maybe no How the rule? This protected or not protected? Protected or not? Protected, okay? So I hope you understand what is protected. Protected, kalau pegang, tangkap, jail atau fine. Okay. And then uh, that's why we have BSF. We have also a reserve in Pulau Rawa. We try to re to develop a pro control program using this ban owl in Pulau Rawa, very far from. How many how many hours from Mesir to Nago? One hour. One hour in the China, South China Sea, the island owned by Sultan Johor. So we have some connection with the people there. Uh, through this, of the Gao, they know the the Tauke San and then how do we work lah. So again, networking is very important. So I brought my ex student here from Dao, from from Ansetech, all these are from the industry, so you can mingle around with them. Okay. Next Supanjaya. Then now the, the DBKL punya Datuk Bandar was formerly Datuk Bandar Supanjaya. So they know us our project. Datuk Nong Hisham. This is roughly how the timeline of one hour in some in Malaysia lah. In, in the 80s, 1800 is very rare. In the 69, you can see uh, ni orang Mak Masali lah. Masali dulu tu manager banyak orang putih. Orang bulik lah. Ya. Orang Indonesia kita orang bulik. So Masali. They, they start saying it then They start to propagate uh, in oil pump And start to use Artificial net pop Because Burung Burung uh, uh, Burung Ban out ni They, they need uh, A place, a hole Like usually in a jungle So Somehow we learn that we need to make Artificial hotel for them You know, so we, we make This is in plantation This is in rice field This is how 
and then this one in in, in see this is in Sumajaya. Okay, so that's how the timeline. Eh? So you can and then uh, uh, Peninsula Malaysia we start to introduce in Borneo. Now I tell you the story of how we we brought to Sabah with permission, huh? Pelintan ada permission, semua lalu semua proses undang-undang dan sebagainya. And then now after plantation we try to use the bird for urban tapi not urban macam banyak bunga ada juga ada green lah and then you see after the take we see I tell you a lot of challenge in urban rather than plantation plantation 200 uh, 300 hectare no body this stuff you know but in urban the shoot you know and then uh, a lot of urban use racun tikus bila burung makan tikus beracun burung pun akan mati secondary point ni even in plantation that's why in some plantation in Fenda they have used the bud out they have not used racun tikus red bait they only use bird okay so this is bud owl roughly they are very they are nocturnal bird siang dia tidur malam dia cari makan so they don't compete with the bird lah okay so uh, Eating, oh sorry, diet 99% about on red, okay, and a number of the other beberapa characteristic they are very attracted to artificial net and net box. They have high rate of reproduction, selera yang bagus, appetite yang bagus, well adapted to human. They have some of they are very cooperative lah with human, they don't run away and then uh, they don't attack other birds they don't show territorial behavior and then they can breed throughout the year which is easy to propagate okay this is uh, so on ecological principle you must know prey predator relationship kalau banyak, banyak makan banyak pembiakan kalau kurang makanan, less food, less prey, development kurang, propagation. And then you learn in ecology, numerical response, functional response. I don't have to elaborate lah. For those people in ecology background, not tower camera equation, whatever. So they have those things. Other, we have other predator lah, like ular, like burung, like biawak, okay? And then like this lah. And in Semenanjung, Biawa is protected species, but I don't know in Sabah, not protected. Here in Semenanjung, very protected species. Tak boleh puno, puno salah. Eh? So they are protected. So this is the bird. Eh? They are the large and very sensitive, right? Because they hang at night. They are tidur siang dalam tu hotel yang kita bagi di rumah tu huh? and then malam saja dia aktif and then very sensitive to hearing that's how the fish very nice looking bukan macam buka hantu very handsome fish huh? neck dia uh, uh, a lot expressible neck you can turn sampai 270 degrees like that kita sampai sini 45 tu lah eh? 270 And then kuku yang tajam bila kita pegang jangan tarik daging kita keluar so we have the leather glove dia kita kena really kalau kita tarik daging kita keluar ha? the flesh of the powerful and then so that's how they catch the red tikus and then last body wings pen soft the, body, the feather is very soft and then they can fly it's a good flyer you know tapi kita tak siang tak nampak lah malam malam ni. Okay, introduce in Borneo to control red in oil palm plantation has been used in agriculture especially in rice field. They don't make their own nest, their tumpang surau, their tumpang masjid, their tumpang gereja tu yang kita tembak kan kita. So, dia berak 
Vera ada kotor sikit dia Vera, nanti saya tak So you don't believe how the Vera You know So after this you know something new How the, the thing come out After dia makan Macam mana dia makan? Apa Vera ni? Di mana keluar Vera grow? Orang beritahu Keluar di belakang kan nah, Nanti dia tengok di mana Apa yang keluar di belakang, apa keluar di depan Kalau dia makan, dia makan tulang Tulang tak keluar di belakang, dia keluar di sini balik Nanti saya tunjuk macam mana eh. So, and then Find out You need Artificial network Kalau tidak You have a difficulty In establishing the ban out They cannot establish the population very well They go somewhere else Because they don't have a place to, to stay And ban out The pair is monogamous They tidak tukar pasangan So if you kill The female yang tengah Mengeram telur You kill the telur They are very monogamous Hidup sejat What do you mean? Setia Sepanjang hayat This is the word So, if you kill one of them So, kalau kata yang jantan tu cari makan If you feel the man So, they cannot feed the the chick So, that's how they work Manusia yang tukar-tukar Tapi belum yang very Okay, and this bird under Wildlife Conservation Act 2010 uh, Protected Species uh, Orang perintah dia tahu Kalau nak tanya apa dia protected You tanya yang empat orang Dia boleh explain you what is Kalau, kalau, kalau saya faham Untouchable lah Cannot keep, cannot touch Lihat sahaja ha? Kalau you Nak dia pegang ni, simpan Nanti you tahu Berapa you kena That is the law Is it the same law in sama? This is sebenarnya Wildlife Huh? Ban Aul is totally protected bird in Malaysia Act 716 uh, 20, The Gazette 2010 uh, Berapa sana Without a special permit Commit an offence and share On conviction be liable To a fine no actually 100,000 ringgit Or to imprisonment A term of no actually 3 years Or both 1,000 atau tiga ratus tiga tahun atau kedua-duanya kalau tidak ada permit. Jadi yang kami buat di di sembilan ini kami kena minta permit dari menteri menteri perikatan apa yang kami perikatan ada natural resource. Ah natural resource tidak ada surat itu kami masuk jail. So we have to get that letter before we do the project kita minta dalam dalam satu permit dalam bandar satu permit. Dalam resort pulau satu permit Semua sign by the minister Okay kan So uh, Muka sekitar jadi Dan dia dia bukan punya Bidang burungan tu Dia punya Burungan tu yang Uh uh Kalau-kalau kan Tidak Shhh Macam Pulau ke pulau Nak menyembuh That's how dia bunyi Dia bunyi I don't know how to make it Tak apa Mungkin dia tahu lah Kak anak dia selalu Dia bunyi Malam-malam dia tak bunyi Macam burung Ban owl yang lain kan? Dia ada owl bunyi No, this bird is not like that Dia bunyi, dia hissing ha, Dia tak bunyi tu Dia bunyi, uh, saya tak pandai buat sound ni Tapi saya selalu dengar lah ha? And then uh, <coughs> Class size Sampai 2 and 8 Maksimum kita boleh dapat And this number of eggs depend on how much food available Kalau banyak makanan Banyak tikus, besarlah Class size Huh? And then Period Incubation about 22 days And flash terbang About 8 weeks So kalau you bunuh Dia masih mengeram ni You check lah Dia ada man that cannot whatever lah. Dia ada monogam Satu mati satu lagi Kan kabut lah huh? And then uh, One hour Breeding around 8 to 12 <coughs> months And then may reach 5 years of age But in captivity Because it's not At the data sampai 30 years In captivity eh? So that's how is it eh? So The eggs Baby <coughs> Baby in the task 
we will move to the bank. Okay, that's how they come up from the okay, from the network. That in the oil pump presentation, we have two kinds very recent one is December, February, and July, September, and then April, March, May, off season, really. And rice field throughout the year. Because we don't have any rice field, and then the polo polo so the growing rice season, eh? then they, they can get up to three breeding season per year in rice field. This is how the egg, this is how the baby chicks in the net box. It has become part of the net box. Uh, uh, if I can ask. Okay, no problem. When you mention uh, breeding season, mm -hmm. I don't really understand what words. <coughs> when you mention twice a year, I need to go to the room. Yeah. Go to the room. If we observe the same in the plantation, we can survey the room. So, certain month you got the eggs. And then, and then certain month lagi, ada eggs lagi. Jadi, that's what you call breeding season. Maybe different bird, maybe different, different case lah. Different set. Tapi you can see, fraudulently, you can see number of egg one time, banyak dalam cage, dalam net box, and then kita survey throughout the year, the other few months, ada lagi satu pick lagi teruk. Is, 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 is that because relative to the availability of food? I think so. I think so. Oh, no. Okay, I think so. Okay, I think so. Okay. Feeding habit of bun owl. Okay, bun owl, uh, of course, they makan red. Tapi kadang-kadang dia jahat juga. Kadang-kadang dia stray. You know, dia cita rasa tu kalau kau tak ada red. Kadang-kadang dia makan ayam, orang tembak dia boleh. Tapi, sweet, so sweet lah. Sweet. Ayam buat lah. Tak sebenarnya banyak di rumah ni lah. Dia cukup kecil bun owl. Because, with the bun owl around, the bird didn't come. Oh, so sweet bread grower, burung walet. Ah, itu burung walet, penternak burung walet yang buat rumah sampai empat puluh ribu, seratus ribu, don't like pan out. And that's our challenge. Huh? And then require about that amount of uh, makanan, about two rats per day, a pair and the chicks, so can eat about three thousand rat a year. Huh? And then eat their bread, their makan, telan. And then vegetate them as pellet which contain the anjali sebut. Jadi, yang keluar di belakang ni, tercair. Nanti yang keluar di depan ni, dia muntah balik macam pellet macam bol. Macam dia, 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 macam bol dengan bol dan bulu. Lain habis digest. Ha? Jadi, kalau kita, kami ada aviary, dia tengok kalau kita selesai dan nanti dia akan dia berak air yang tak kepada kita so we have that prop uh, thing eh? ok the pellet this is yang keluar daripada pemulut bone and hair ok yang lain telah dihazam digested has been digested the the, the daging whatever is digested so in undigested will come out to the mouth like this about two inch. That's the the thing. And they come out like that. Okay, they can they can digest, but so they digest it in form of an pellet. Okay. Uh, this is how the process. They can telan. They nampak ekor tikus. Ini dalam ram perut. Ini digested, ini pellet, the rest is being goes into the blood system. Yang ini, yang dimuntah ke kalori, yang tadi. This one, is this one. So, how do you know which which red they eating, which kind of which species of red they eating? So kita kena, our research has to take out the pellet. Dan buang itu bulu semua, atur itu bone, arrange the bone and identify the species of bread that they are eating. Kalau dalam presentation di Semenanjung, ratus geomanifest. 
along the rice field, run through alimentor. That one you have to, you have to, they know lah, they know the video kira berapa. Then kita ukur balik, then kita akan sambung-sambung tulang balik. Itulah dipersihkan. Then you can, you can identify the species of rice. That's how we do it in the land. So the student have to collect lah. Cari ni, ni balance ni. So we, we are doing project in, in urban now. In USM, in Dubai Jaya. So, in 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 ASM sudah ada resident kan? Yeah. We have resident one hour. So, the university give us some to grant. So we do it for urbanisation of one hour. Yeah. Sexing of one hour. Yang mana jantan yang macam Cina ada susah ke? It takes some experience. <coughs> Tapi sekarang dia ada monopulia ni, dia ada tarik ke arah Tapi in the field, you cannot do monopulia lah You must use your mata lah You must use your eyes So in the field Part out are white and with a white outside black spotting Male are commonly lighter and less spotted than female Jadi, yang ini male lah Yang ini, seperti ni Tapi nampak macam ni, ada handsome sikit lah So, that's how. Tapi ini pun problem dia tu. So, you have to, you get to get experience. So, this is implantation. So, implantation is menanyung and in that datu, in sahabat, we have established. It's menanyung is well established implantation. So, some plantation, dia pakai racun tikus lagi. Dia pakai panau, dia kena bawa hotel dia. Nanti, you know how many nest per hectare, per how many hectare We have to make the hotel And then kalau dia membiak lagi banyak, more hotel Because dia akan terajang anak dia tak boleh, tak boleh tidur di situ, tak boleh betul This is mine, your father and me, the rest get up, get your own nest box So that's how we have to study how many occupation rate then we increase the number of nest box in a plantation that's what we have to manage that's why it doesn't mean that you have to ask the pasang biarlah you have to count, bersihkan sarang buang tulang, buang tai kira berapa occupation rate tambah lagi, act more so that, so that they have the thing eh? uh, ok, but our cannot make their own nest uh, that's why in, in the low 70s, they are very low in population To increase population of one hour, more nesting box must be made available This is done by placing nest boxes in the field After erection of boxes, our wood nesting occupy, breed in them and require almost annual for the input So more maintenance than that This is how the nest box. Usually, uh, we have to make it. How many? How many feet? About seven feet. Huh? Seven, seven feet. Ah, kalau buat rendah orang curi, orang ambil anak dia. Huh? So, at sini you have to check. Sometimes you have to step here. Huh? But in 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 uh, California, tengok di dalam grip di sebelah tangga. Di bawah tangga dia check dia check. In 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 banyak dia use this in California. In banyak no. In Israel, they use this in, in farm. In South Africa, they use it in school. They pass on the same species. Same species. Same species. Same species. This is Sama. Same species, but different uh, subspecies. Subspecies, yeah. Okay. You have any questions, please ask. Stop me. If I don't know, I ask my young man here to my friend here to answer for you. Prof, prof. Yeah. Bro mentioned tadi, kalau uh, dia, uh, betul dia bersarang, dia perlukan uh, nest box kan? Ya yeah. Kalau tak ada nest box tu, naturally dia bersarang di mana? Di dalam rumah lubang, kat suku awal Kat rumah, tempat dia, ban, ban And the word ban Ban kan kat rumah, kat rumah Di sini dia ada buda punya tu, buda bubur, hey, contoh kan? Tu kat sini, kita dalam dalam surau <coughs> Dekat dalam rumah orang Dekat universiti, dia macam-macam tempat lah dia tu Itu, itu yang, itu yang kena masalah People don't like it, no? like Especially, some people say burung ni kena suai burung hantu, you know Dia ada bilik, kita, eh? jadi you know, we have that problem sometimes eh? 
So ini yang kita pakai fiberglass. Tahan lebih lama. A little bit expensive. Tapi maintenance nak ganti tak payah. Kalau glass, kalau 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 kayu ni berapa tahun dah? Less than five years. Ah, yeah, more than five years. Okay, this one uh, costs about five hundred. How, how big is the um, house? I cannot give you idea. Yeah. But roughly it is. So roughly, yeah. roughly. We have the detail, but I cannot. I didn't yeah. remember. So about roughly like this one. Uh, the other detail, very very. How you want to make? So you can make your own.